Scorpio. Thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your July love reading and the astrology uh, companion to this will be in a link below the description if you want to continue with the forecast for July in the love department as well as the full summer forecast and the months ahead. So let us begin. These cards were pre-shuffled to save time and the overall energy oh scorpio it's the soulmate card nice start to a love reading the high priest ace of swords the fool nine of wands king of cups at the heart of your reading is seven of swords and the Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Let's stop right there for a minute. So this is going to affect all of what shows up here for your overall energy. This is actually Scorpio energy, and he is the King of Love. This is about wisdom, deep, deep emotional attachment, someone who really loves you. This could be of course, energy you're taking on, a deep love for someone. We have deception here underneath the Ace of Swords. So something of a deception is being cut out, finalized, new beginnings, taking a leap of faith. It's like tying up the loose ends, getting rid of the garbage, taking out the trash in order to bring in this energy, an offer of love coming towards you. There is a need for a little bit of patience. Not much because it's coming to fruition. So you can see two of those pentacles at the bottom are lit up. And it's a matter of time for the rest to be ready for the harvest. Taking this time in waiting, you're in preparation mode for that final battle to victory. We have the Tower card. This is also Scorpio energy, a major arcana. Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Shadow side, shadow work being done. Now, often with this, this card, it, it talks about unhealthy energies surrounding love, like a codependency, a repeat pattern that is destructive. We have the destruction of this in this corner. So this really feels like there's some shadow work being done on, on your part, Scorpio, for the month of July. Underneath this finalization or cutting out of the deception, not even going to fool yourself, this is opening up the uh, space for new love. Blessings from above being poured out on you or the rebirth of a current love. There's partnership here. We see uh, a wedding taking place, like the wedding dance. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that this is bad energy. This for me is just shadow work. And for you to unite and partner with someone you love in a healthy way. Codependency exists in all relationships. The question would be, is it healthy? Or is it deceptive? We see you cutting out this deception for truth, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups, which is that overflowing cup of love, divine blessings. The tower is about disruptions, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Distractions. This doesn't look like much of a distraction when there's this type of deep love. And this is from the highest levels. With the high priest. That's Taurus energy, by the way. Pisces is here. Strong Scorpio energy, Aries as well, 
Capricorn. This is actually looking quite healthy. Now, Scorpios can be very deep. The King of Cups is a very deep emotional love. Yeah, July looks like shadow work in order to make the space for something beautiful to begin with a partnership. Let's clarify these. Scorpio energy, once again, the death card. With the soulmate. Now, this might be the ending of one relationship to make room for a new relationship. You know, the journey, seeking that true love. But this means transformation as well. So for those of you currently attached, this relationship is going through a transformative period. One that is good. Maybe a little difficult. I mean, nothing worth having is is easy, right? But there seems to be a, an effort to look at things from a reality standpoint. A decision was made. And this decision that was made for you, Scorpio, or on your behalf, you made a decision. Uh, it wasn't an easy one. This is talking about the crossroads. You are being carried. And, and this really looks like, like when we send out that law of attraction, that intention, the uh, universe conspires to bring it to us. But this looks like it's <clears throat> coming in the form of a person. That decision is made. And if you thought maybe your love interest They do something that benefits this relationship. This card is always about how spirit steps in once that decision was made and then makes it happen without effort of your, in fact, you can just rest while the universe takes over. This is very high level consciousness. And it does seem like it's, it's coming in the form of a person. We now have the Ace of Pentacles. This new beginning shines like the sun. Monetary benefits, stability. Taking a leap of faith. This is your knowledge of what was at stake and what is possible in the future. This looks like, you know, the proper mourning period or grieving period that needs to take place in order to um, end old energies that need to leave to make room. Honestly, this feels like proper, a proper period of time where you reflect on the past, what mistakes were made in order to not make them again. And it has brought you to a place of... Uh, really good balance because the fool when he takes that leap of faith he lands on his feet he hits the ground running he doesn't lose his balance clarifying the nine of wands we have the happiest card in the deck joy happiness a battle worth fighting and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel Ace of Cups once again to clarify this very deep love coming towards you. Whether it is a transformative love with a current relationship or a new one, July is going to be a month of transformation and blessings when it comes to love. Now, soulmates can be friends, family, your best friend, your lover. So this really feels like it. Also to July on the global scale, we're going through or we've entered into a peak of the big ugly. So this is probably affecting how you are doing your shadow work. Scorpios, you're not adverse to diving deeply to get to 
the heart of the matters. Deception is being clarified by the Ten of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment. Perhaps someone is doubtful or putting doubts in your mind that this is unachievable and yet it is there being handed to you, just being handed to you, offered to you. That wish fulfillment in love, emotional fulfillment. We have a completion here. Scorpios, you're in a very good position if you're looking for that true love and establishing that strong connection with the universe to make it happen as well as healing this could be the healing card of a current relationship understanding empathically how the other is in order to trans look at that this offer of love and this says to be patient a little while longer because it's already coming towards you So there will be a signal for you through this disruption, distraction. Now the Page of Wands brings forward a light and you can't see beyond that door until you step through it. You have divine feminine energy here being depicted as the feline or the cat. But this is the moment that when you step through that door, your whole world changes. And once you step through that door, there is a, this is no longer a small, a small thing. This is a bright light. This harkens back to here this grieving or empathy or this new change you're going to be jumping into. Perhaps through this, you're reflecting on what you lost in the past, but you actually, you didn't lose it. There is a core part of you, Scorpio, that guides you because of your own, what necessitates this purpose in your life and this purpose is about love so it this is going to be an outpouring of love that will bring this to light and realize that you have not lost what you have gained though it may seem so you have actually gained two more this offer coming in filling that those coffers of love Cancer energy here, Major Arcana, the Chariot. This is fast approaching. Very fast approaching. What you set out in intentions up here is racing towards you in partnership, unity, celebration. Choose wisely. This really does feel like shadow work that you're doing in order to have this beautiful clean slate for what's coming in. This is also about opportunities. So you, you may have more than one love offer coming in in July. And I think this is where your shadow side kicks in. Do you want to repeat a cycle that you've already gained knowledge and wisdom in? This is saying to choose wisely. Do the shadow work. Make sure that the past is laid to rest before taking that leap of faith into this transformative love, this change in your partnership, change as in for current relationships, change that levels you up together, or change that there is some new love some of you are waiting for that is in the works in the wings it's already it's already it seems to me already manifested you just need to see it possibly this is crowding your vision or view 
of this love. But this is temporary. You do take that leap of faith. That harvest does come in and offer for this harvest. Now, again, when this is this offer of love coming in on the seven of pentacles may indicate that you need to take this, be patient, not just about this offer coming in, but when this offer comes in, weigh it against your intuition here. The high priest is intuitive. So weighing it against the old had to come down. The old ways had to be removed in order to build solidly on a solid foundation. So if we look at the foundations of this reading, we have this crossroads with higher consciousness. We have joy in what is coming in that last battle to complete you. We have this, these opportunities and maybe even confusion. Maybe you're flabbergasted by this offer, but it is ex exactly what you wished for, what you asked for. And this light is going to be shown to you in July. Almost like a conviction, Scorpio, of taking down the old to build something solid, something realistic that surpasses, it surpasses what you thought. This energy of partnership and love and at the heart of your reading is racing towards you. This brings stability and happiness. This is something you've already been preparing for. Perhaps that there's a hesitancy as to the path that you're choosing. Will you accept this offer? And yet this energy says, be patient with yourself. Don't worry about needing the time to think about that offer. It'll still be there. And what path do you want to take with this love? Interesting. Check out your astrology side. I do believe when I was doing the July love for Scorpio uh, to do a write-up on it, um, I was really surprised by what came out in, in that astrology. It was very positive for you, Scorpio. So do check it out. It's in a link in the description below. And you can check the other months out as well as a full summer forecast. It's there too. It should be published by now. And I hope that you join me again. For those of you who subscribe, God bless you. And for those who haven't, please do. I do hope to see you again soon. God bless. Bye-bye for now.